Number 10. The Mosasaurus The Mosasaurus was a ferocious beast that lived in the ancient oceans of the world during the Cretaceous period, about 145 million years ago. As far as scientists are concerned, the Mosasaurus went extinct 65.5 million years ago. The big question is, could this prehistoric creature still exist somewhere in our ocean today? Most scientists say probably not. After all, some fishermen somewhere would have seen one. And what would it eat? But there are some who believe that there could still be a small group of mosasaurs living deep in our oceans. After all, 80% of the sea floor has never been mapped, explored, or even seen by humans, meaning there could be plenty of strange beasts perhaps even mosasaurs lurking about, or at least a handful of them. But just what exactly is a mosasaurus? While dinosaurs were ruling the land, the mosasaurus was busy ruling the seas. It had a long tail, short paddle flippers, and a massive head with very scary teeth. It used these attributes to its advantage, swimming majestically through the water and eating just about anything it wanted. And even though it might look like a dinosaur, it's actually a type of marine reptile, more closely related to a garter snake than a dinosaur. It was also about the size of a megalodon. Nobody has actually spotted a mosasaurus in modern times, though some claim the Loch Ness Monster is just a mosasaurus that got left behind and has been living in the Scottish Loch for hundreds of years. Other mysterious large beasts spotted in the water around the world are also rumored to perhaps be a mosasaurus. Number 9. The Giant Ground Sloth Something very strange happened 8,500 years ago. Suddenly, almost without warning and pretty much overnight, all of the largest mammals in the world vanished and have yet to come back. The Irish elk, the woolly mammoth, the saber-toothed tiger, and the giant ground sloth, just to name a few. All these huge beasts that had ruled the planet for thousands and millions of years were just gone, as if they had never existed at all. But it took a little longer for some to die than for others. For example, the woolly mammoth survived a few more centuries by hiding out on remote islands, while the giant ground sloth is believed to have lived an additional 5,000 years by retreating deep into the Amazon rainforest. To this day, scientists have no idea why this mass extinction happened, but they say it definitely had something to do with the ending of the Ice Age and a dramatic change in climate. Today, one of these huge extinct creatures may still actually be alive, the giant ground sloth. Scientists know that ground sloths once lived with humans, since tribal Amazonians have passed down legends of the mysterious monster for generations. But even in modern times, people speak of a huge creature over seven feet tall, equipped with sharp claws, matted fur, and a deafening roar. The description matches the giant sloth exactly which, when alive, would have actually looked nothing like the sloths we have today. These guys were around 13 feet tall and dug burrows with their enormous claws. Officially known as the Megatherium, to many people from the Amazon, it is the Mapinguari, a spooky creature that you can smell coming before you see it. It moved extremely slowly and managed to survive over 5 million years in South America, thanks to its size and intimidating techniques. The weird thing is that the creature has been spotted by multiple people in the Amazon jungle. Scientist David Oren says he is closer than ever to finding it. On various expeditions to the Amazon, several people reported seeing a creature more than six feet tall, weighing more than 400 pounds, with dark or reddish fur. David says that Indians, rubber tappers, and prospectors who live in the forest say the animal is shy, but can be fierce when confronted by people. It makes a strange, strong sound like jets flying extremely low and leaves behind claw-shaped footprints. We don't know for sure, but the giant ground sloth could still be alive, clinging to existence in the most remote parts of the rainforest. Number 8. The Megalodon If the Megalodon really were alive today, you would probably never want to step foot in the ocean ever again. Considering the Megalodon could grow anywhere between 50 and 80 feet, and was more dangerous than all the sharks in the ocean combined, it would make surfing or sailing pretty risky. But what if the megalodon is still living in our oceans, just deep in the darkest part where nobody can see it? The ocean obviously isn't riddled with giant megalodons, but there could be a small group of them surviving in isolation. 
Here's what scientists have to say. According to Robert Bosnecker with the College of Charleston in South Carolina, the megalodon may have gone extinct because of a creature that still lives today. When the great white shark showed up on our planet about six million years ago, they lived only in the Pacific Ocean. But after two million years, they had spread across the entire globe. The little cousin of the megalodon was taking over the world, and the megalodon ended up starving because the smaller, more agile, and more evolved great white shark was stealing its food. In a way, the megalodon lives on today through the great white shark. The only way one of these prehistoric monsters is still physically alive is if they've retreated to the bottom of the ocean, where they hunt for food in the darkness. But as you know, there is not much food down there, and a megalodon would have to eat a lot. Number 7. The Short-Faced Bear The giant short-faced bear was a prehistoric creature that roamed across North America until only a short time ago. Scientists say the huge bear had a face kind of like a bulldog and was very similar to other North American bears, but it died out 11,000 years ago. And while most mainstream scientists will agree that it's extinct, some believe it could still be roaming the vast wilderness in both North America and Russia. Some of the most convincing sightings actually came from Canada, where the giant short-faced bear has been spotted in the Northwest Territories, British Columbia, and even in Alberta. The bear is said to be so big that it can carry off a moose, though nobody has gotten a reliable picture of the creature. Then, in Russia, there have been sightings of what the locals call a caterpillar bear, far away in the Kamchatka Peninsula. A theory was even put forth by the Russian zoologist Nikolai K. Vereshchagin that the mysterious animal is the short-faced bear, perhaps migrated to Russia from the Bering Land Bridge between Siberia and North America over 10,000 years ago. Considering how remote the Siberian wasteland is, it wouldn't be that surprising to know a prehistoric bear is living somewhere out in the snow. Number 6. The Plesiosaur A Japanese fishing boat may have accidentally discovered a dead prehistoric beast back in 1977. The creature in question is a plesiosaur, and it was found recently deceased and hauled up to the surface by the Japanese fishing trawler the Zuyo Maru. They had been trawling off the coast of New Zealand when they picked up the carcass at a depth of 1,000 feet. They couldn't believe their eyes when they brought the dead animal out of the water, dropped it onto the ship, and realized that they were staring at a monster. The creature was over 33 feet in length and weighed just about 4,000 pounds. None of the fishermen on board could identify the monstrosity, though some believed it was a rotting whale. Others thought it was a giant mythical turtle without a shell. In the end, profit came before curiosity, and the captain threw the rotten creature back into the sea. He didn't want the giant dead carcass spoiling the rest of the fish that they had already caught, and it was just too big. The only piece of evidence that this even happened is a photograph taken by one of the crew members before the carcass was thrown overboard. The fishermen showed the picture of the monster to company officials when they returned to Japan, and the story took off after that. Japanese scientists came forward to declare that the creature was definitely a plesiosaur, while other scientists denied it. There is no way to tell what the creature really was all these years later, but if it had been a plesiosaur, that would be kind of amazing, seeing as they went extinct over 80 million years ago. And now for number 5, but first want to give a big shout out to Fennet. Thank you so much for supporting this channel and for your service. To all of our subscribers, thanks so much for watching. And if you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button to join the Origins Explained family. We have lots of new videos coming up. Number 5. The Little Dodo The dodo bird is extinct and not coming back. There is absolutely no doubt that on the island of Mauritius, every last dodo bird is dead. After the Dutch showed up on the island in the year 1600, the dodo bird quickly fell and became the poster child for extinct animals. It took them less than 80 years to hunt the bird into extinction and beyond, along with their dogs, cats, and rats, which didn't help at all. But here's something a lot of people don't know. There is still a kind of dodo bird alive today. It's called the little dodo, and it lives on in the island of Samoa. But it's dangerously close to following its larger relative into the void of no return. The little dodo lives only in a small patch of forest with less than 200 birds remaining. The little dodo has become so rare that for the last decade, nobody even saw one. 
It wasn't until last December that a juvenile dodo bird was finally spotted sitting in a tree, giving hope that they might not be dead just yet. According to researcher Rebecca Sterneman, the little dodo is able to use its wings to fly, unlike the extinct dodo bird, which was flightless. But they still look kind of like fat pigeons. Plus, the fact that they can fly hasn't really done much to save them from the brink of extinction. Number 4. The Congo Dinosaur There might just be a dinosaur living in the Congo. Yes, we've all accepted by now that the dinosaurs died out over 65 million years before today. But what if the great extinction missed just one or two of them? In the Democratic Republic of the Congo, sightings of a great monster known locally as the Mokele Mbebe could be proof of a lingering dinosaur that missed the memo about going extinct. The creature is said to be about 35 feet in length, has brownish skin, and it has a very long and flexible neck, just like an Apatosaurus. It also lives mostly in caves, though it has been sighted drinking at rivers and occasionally eating elephants and crocodiles. Unfortunately, nobody has managed to snap a photograph of the legendary Mokele Mbebe, putting it in the same category as the Loch Ness Monster and Bigfoot. It's just a myth until somebody can prove it really exists. There's no hard evidence yet, despite countless expeditions to hunt down and kill the monster. In 1980 and 81, famous monster hunter Roy McCall even went deep into the Lake Tele region of the Congo in search of the beast, but didn't find any evidence of its existence. He did, however, hear plenty of stories from the locals, who all claim to at one point or another have had an encounter with the mysterious dinosaur. Number 3. Montana Direwolf Back in May 2018, an animal was shot dead on somebody's private property outside the town of Denton in Montana. The animal was unlike anything the local people had ever seen before. It almost looked like a hybrid wolf and a dog, or even a freakish werewolf. The animal was so bizarre that some believe it could be an actual dire wolf, a creature that hasn't been seen since the Ice Age. The dire wolf was an expert hunter that lived all across North America. They hunted bison, camels, and wild horses. But just around the end of the Ice Age, 13,000 years ago, the dire wolf vanished. Most scientists agree its extinction was caused by a wave of other extinctions with all the animals it was eating as food just kind of vanishing overnight. But could the dire wolf really have survived all this time and made it to Montana of all places? Maybe, since the creature that was shot dead did look a lot like a prehistoric wolf. The only issue is that the creature was a bit small to be a dire wolf. Though, if the dire wolf has been in hiding for the last 10,000 years or more, maybe it's evolved to be smaller and better at hiding. Number 2. The Titanoboa If the Titanoboa really is still alive today, we are all in big trouble. Millions of years ago, this was the largest snake anywhere on the planet and a literal nightmare. It could grow upwards of 40 feet long and was as thick as a doorway. Picture an anaconda except about three times larger and capable of eating a car instead of just an alligator. The Titanoboa is considered extinct with no exceptions, dead for 6.6 .6 million years. But just recently, theories have started circling that there could be a huge snake living in the Amazon jungle over 50 feet long. The theories aren't unfounded either, as residents living deep in the jungle have apparently witnessed a creature identical to the Titanoboa. The problem is that scientists can't prove or disprove that the massive killer snake still exists. The Amazon River is so big so long and so deep in places that it's impossible to locate anything if it's hiding in there. Even a monster like the Titanoboa could theoretically be hiding in the Amazon River without anyone ever finding it. Number 1. The Great Woolly Mammoth The Great Woolly Mammoth, for some bizarre reason, seems to be the favorite of all the extinct prehistoric creatures. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments below! There were claims coming out of Siberia in recent years that a small group of mammoths were caught living in the northern regions near the Arctic Circle. These sightings haven't been confirmed, but there is a slim possibility they are real. Mammoths could have continued living in small numbers in Siberia, maybe even without being noticed. But to tell you the truth, it doesn't really matter anymore. A company named Colossal is right now trying to put woolly mammoths back into the Siberian tundra. According to George Church, 
A biologist from Harvard Medical School says they aren't going to stop until woolly mammoths are alive again. His laboratory recently received $15 million in funding to carry out experiments to bring the mammoth back to life. George has been leading a small team of researchers for nearly a decade with this ultimate goal in mind. They will edit elephant DNA and add mammoth genes until they manage to produce a baby elephant that looks exactly like a woolly mammoth. Then they'll let them run around the Siberian tundra to see if they can repopulate. Thanks for watching. How do you feel about scientists bringing back the woolly mammoth? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye!